Here we have a uh, possible machine for uh, for time dilation. Okay, this sphere is made of copper. Okay, roll thick uh, sphere of copper, and inside we have a neodymium magnet, which is this inner sphere, or other uh, uh, types of mag uh, magnetic. Uh, whether it be electronic or, in this case, uh, material. Okay, so we have those two uh, um, uh, spheres, one inside the other, and then we have these uh, neodymium magnets or or electronic magnets, whether whichever it may be. Okay, so but these I'll show you in a second. Is this the, these plates? This uh, um, this plate is basically the um, the sphere, the copper sphere. So this copper uh, sphere is this copper plate. Now here I have a, uh, a neodymium magnet or electronic magnet, whatever you uh, uh, optional. But in this case, I have a neodymium magnet, and as you you move this magnet, uh, uh, you can move uh, the smaller magnet. Um, what the copper does, it allows free access for uh, uh, magnetic waves to penetrate. Uh, in my opinion, it uh, magnifies the magnetic waves. So whatever it goes to the copper, it's magnified. And affects the the inside magnet, or this. So normally, uh, without this copper, you have to be like an inch to two inch away to to move this one. But with this copper plate, you could actually go twelve inches apart, and from twenty inches, and then three inches apart over here, from the copper plate, you can actually move it from a larger, longer distance than normal. So it doesn't intensify the magnetic field or allows it freely to flow freely. And that way you can affect it more. So this copper plate is a sphere, and the neo magnets that rotate are these. Um, I design like uh, these are more like uh, squares. They could be sphere, uh, rectangular, uh, any shape. But what they'll be doing is rotating. But anyway, this magnetic field uh, will be penetrating into the the inner side. So, uh, so let me throw this real quick. There you go. These are magnetic waves. As they spin or rotate, and each one will do the same thing. So, pretty much, con pretty much concentrating to the center. So everything will uh, join forces, uh, all the magnetic fields uh, going this way, centering to the center of this, the, the sphere. Um, pretty much, um, it'll be more like a concentration, a powerful concentration of all these magnetic fields around this neo um, uh, magnet, or or any kind of electronic magnet. So that this, the magnetic waves will be more concentrated, a pinpoint, a dot. So everything will be concentrated in this sphere. Well, um, okay. So that separates uh, the magnetic field from from the earth, from Earth, from space, from universe. So we have uh, uh, the normal space magnetic field, or the Earth magnetic field field, but that separates it from a from a from a, our magnetic field field. To a, a, a independent magnetic field. This is uh, independent. Let me explain here. We know that if you live in a mountain, uh, time goes faster. And if you, this is the sea right here, and sea level, time slows down. Okay? So in a mountain, time goes faster, and sea level, ground, uh, time goes slower. 
Okay? So, but the problem is, as soon as you come down from the mountains to the sea level, you actually don't feel a difference. It, it, it kind of blends into the... Let me explain this. This is a, uh, the water, uh, uh, let's say a puddle of water that represents the mountain. Time goes fast. And then we got another puddle of water, a smaller one, and that's a sea level ground. So if you're in a mountain and time goes uh, fast, but as soon as you go into the smaller one, uh, puddle, which is time goes slow, be in the sea level ground, but see this right here? Um, it's easy, uh, easily for the water to flow this way. You know what I'm saying? So if you live in a mountain and you go down to the sea level, time itself is still interconnected by gravity. Uh, so uh, you, you actually, time does go faster. But as soon as you go over here, it kind of you blend into the other water. So you actually time will slow down. Well, basically what, what, what I'm trying to say is it's going to catch up to you. So that's why you don't feel the difference. So if your time goes faster here, as soon as you go over here, eventually it's going to catch up to you uh, because it's interconnected. Even though this smaller uh, axis point uh, allows the water to transfer easily from one to the other. So time is going faster, but as soon as you go over here, you catch up and eventually it's all the same because it's a, even though it's a, two different puddles, but they're together by this little axis, you actually uh, have connection to the other puddle. Now, but if you have a separate magnetic field, you have a third puddle, but this puddle is separate. See, there's no connection. So this third puddle, uh, uh, it's a water, which is time, is a separate, right? But as soon as you come out of this, actually this puddle of water will be connected to this one. But in the meantime, you have this separation, okay? The separation of uh, gravity or, uh, uh, yeah, a magnetic field separation. So this this is a mountains, sea level, and then you got the machine, a G-force time machine. Uh, but you have this uh, separation of, uh, so this water is not connected to any of these two, okay? Um, but as soon as you come out of the capsule, then this water will be connected to this. So actually, it, 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 it'll have certain effects to it, but at least you're separated during the whole process. So you could actually uh, affect time, but because you're separated, but then you go back and then you'll be it's rejoined to the waters. Uh, but in the meantime, once you're in your machine, you'll be separated. You'll be uh, constantly. Now, we know that uh, in mountain is a higher gravity, more mass, more gravity, and time goes faster. In the land, which is a sea level land, uh, we know that uh, gravity is less, so time slows down. So, um, to multiply the, the, uh, the weight of a person, we use a G-force spin. So, if the inner core uh, spins faster, really fast. So what we have is uh, uh, these uh, people on, on bed uh, capsules. Uh, as, as, as you spin, you acquire more gravity. So the body of a person, the weight of a person is increased. So now we have uh, heavier uh, gravity on each person. So um, basically you have more mass. So the more mass you have in your body, uh, the more you affect time. So... Um, Depending how the highest uh, g-force a person can tolerate, uh, you'll be actually going in time faster. So there you go. So it's just a let me for an example. Let's just pretend this is nothing to do. No calculation. I'm just saying. Let's say, uh, let's say uh, uh, a mountain equals one minute for every one minute. Let's say on sea level equals one hour okay so I'm putting it in. this is not pers this is not calculation this is just a, an example and this is no fact but I'm saying saying that let's say the mountain gravity is one minute equals one hour on sea level so let's say you have uh, so for every minute it equals one hour so in other words 
like just an example, not 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 exact. This is just an, has no exact numbers. I'm just saying, using as an example, let's say one minute, and this, let's say, one hour or one minute equals one hour. Uh, so my what I'm trying to say is, let's say you spend an, uh, a day here, it might actually equal an example one year. So one day here. Or one hour here it might equal one day here. Um, just a bit. There's a separation with the magnetic field. So, but uh, further testing should be done. This is just an, uh, a theory. So this is not an actual work in prototype. Just a theory uh, using a gravity increased on, on a person. Uh, body weight affects time, but it is still connected to to time itself, like in this process. But to separate it. You need this extra magnetic field to separate it from Earth and a universe magnetic field, have its own magnetic field. Basically, now you have separation, and then the spinning uh, adds more gravity and more weight to your body, which is more gravity, more weight, equals uh, faster. Uh, the time moves faster. So, uh, in a sense, this is a concept of a possible time machine where a person can go forward, but it cannot go backwards. So, uh, just a possibility. But anyway, there you go, folks.